You ready? Hi, Abraham. Um, I've really enjoyed your teachings in the last uh, two years since I've you know, come across your teachings. But I also have come across a, um, a study or um, a, Kenny, a lecture that I was listening to by um, this gentleman. His name is Dr. Bruce Lipton. And he is um, a, a stem cell uh, research that he's been doing for, since 1966. And he did a beautiful job in explaining all the functions of the, um, the cell. Um, so he, you know, what I've learned from it is that we're made up of 50 trillion cells. And from the cells, he breaks it down for what their properties are and, you know, what the purpose is for each, like the, the gene, the DNA, and the nucleus. So my question is that he says that we have these receptors um, in every cell. So we have like 50 trillion to 70 trillion cells that are receptors that are picking up all the um, vibes. And we, we, we refer to them as points of consciousness. Correct. E e each, of, each of those points of consciousness actually in communication with source energy. Correct. Yes. That's what he says too. Yes. So, so we have these receptors that we are interpreting all this energy, 50 you know, trillion of, of them well, all at once. That when you say that we are interpreting, in other words, give the cells their, their due justice, the, your, cells, your cells are consciousness who are interacting with source energy. Right. But you don't have to include yourself in on that because talk about not knowing what's in your vortex, you really don't know what's going on in each of those cells. It's not right. So, so, so my question is, if our brain is also made out of cells and they have these receptors and these receptors are picking up everything. So I guess my question is, and, and then he also says something like we're 95% um, of our bodies functioning unconsciously and 5% is consciously. So, so if the receptor is, is basically the, um, our, our interpretation, which becomes our beliefs, it's just, a th I heard you say that well, a, a thought is... It's, it's getting a little more complicated than it needs to be. Here's the, way, here's the way we would describe it. Okay. And we're not disagreeing with anything that you're saying. Uh -huh. But if you look at it this way, it's, it's, some, it's more manageable for you. Mm -hmm. The most important thing to acknowledge is that your cells are consciousness. Mm -hmm. and, and your cells... And just follow us through because if you if you follow this track it will make everything that comes later on easier for you each of your cells has a non-physical counterpart in other words source energy is aware of you on a cellular level source energy is aware of you on a vibrational level certainly source energy knows you as the personality is you as well right source angel source energy knows you as the intentional being that you are on all the different fronts of frustration of of frustration or all of the different fronts of emotion your inner being knows you at at every level that you are so as the energy of your source is aware of you on a cellular level that means that communication is taking place on a cellular level right everything that we are teaching here in this gathering is pointed toward helping you as the conscious genius human captain of the ship of all of these cells to help you stay out of the way of the communication of the cells between source and cell to stay out of the way so for example if your body is out of whack in some way the cells in that part of your body immediately begin calling for assistance and if you are in a completely in the vortex state of being, if there is no misalignment within you, if there is no resistance within you, then the cells ask, the source energy cells answer, and the balance of your body stays in perfect flow. But if the, when the cells feel their imbalance, and it happens all day, every day, in other words, as you are constantly uh, uh, coming up against things your cells are introduced to things that you ingest things that you inhale uh, mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of things are are coming towards you as the cells of your body recognize that and then send the request for balancing 
they receive the balancing request comfortably and so it depends upon where you are in relationship to your vortex how much allowing or resisting you're doing how well you allow the communication of your cells with their source energy okay but if our cells have receptors and our receptors are picking up well the it, vibrations, it's, not, it's not that your cells have receptors it's that your cells are receptors right they are transmitting and receiving mechanisms yes okay so then where's the vortex in this is it the mind it's not in the brain it has to be the mind then correct well that's why we were breaking it down just a little bit in other words if each of those trillions of cells has an inner being all of those are in the vortex in other words it's the sort the vortex is what we refer to as the source energy part of you the source energy part of you and it's not just the source energy part of you that existed before you got here it's the source energy part of you that has become as you've been requesting further so let's say now this could never happen but just for sake of clarification let's say that you come forth you're in a human body you live in a very feathered nest and you never have enough contrast to ever put one thing in your vortex now that would never happen but just pretend with us for a moment mm -hmm. your cells have put plenty in the vortex that's why we say even if you are a one celled organism you have a vortex that you are putting intentions in so this vortex is what we are referring to is this vibrational state of being where the most expanded version of you is so it's my perception my belief well we would like it to be your belief but it often isn't well because I have a bad program but if I change my program if I change my belief system then if I'm 95 percent operating off of my unconscious then it is well, let, my vortex let's back up on that a little bit because the when you're in the vortex some when someone says that you are functioning with only a part of your capability we do not disagree with that if you are let's take an infant this will this will stimulate your thought a little bit a newborn baby is doing a better job of operating fully with the fullness of its being than an adult because the newborn baby is still more closely associated with source energy so what exposure to life it has had and what requests it has put forth are all in alignment one with another so this infant that's why often when you hold a baby you feel well-being yeah. or when you look into a baby's eyes you feel such wisdom you see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so our friend was talking about his initial maybe even current discomfort with the idea of channeling and we quite often tease about how odd it must be for some of you to explain us we don't recommend that you try very hard to others yes I, I'm going to this seminar where this man calls his wife Abraham it's and, and, and she must be some sort of a split personality because she keeps referring to herself as we and and yeah. she incessantly draws this big circle on the floor and calls it a vortex and tells us all we should go get in it and and when we look there's nothing there but we we're supposed to take it on faith that there is something there and and so but the reason that we talk about this vortex in the way that we do is because we want you to feel the reality of this vibrational state that is not easily translatable through your physical eyes especially at first mm -hmm. so when someone says you're only using 95 you're not you're only using 5% of your capacity we would say those in the vortex are using all of it when you're in the, when you're tuned in tapped in turned on this is a frequency thing that we're talking about mm -hmm. so when you're tuned to the frequency of all that you are then the fuller capacity of you is being evidenced in in your moment okay <laughs> and a belief you see a belief is just a thought that you keep thinking right so a belief is a vibration mm -hmm. so the uh, an, a, a belief is a vibra is a thought that you've thought long enough that it's become rather chronic so that it's easy for you to come to a belief is a well-practiced thought mm -hmm. and some things that you believe are in alignment with what your source knows to be and some things that you believe are not in alignment with what your source knows to be okay but isn't that the unconscious then aren't we uh, isn't the reason why we behave the way we behave is because we do a lot of things unconsciously and it's because one of, of the benefits that Esther brought to this forum to this to this uh, 
asking and allowing and receiving uh, experience that we're all having together mm -hmm. is that she was not decided or opinionated or well steeped in terms that just get in the way mm -hmm. and one of those terms that always gets in the way is unconscious because here's here's what's really going on if you're feeling emotion mm -hmm. then there's then you're not unconscious in other words there's if you're if the thought that you're thinking is vibrating in a strong enough way that there's a reverberating alignment which gives you positive emotion or resistance which gives you negative emotion then that is not an unconscious belief that's a very active vibration Correct. so rather than talking about beliefs and unconscious and or and even desire so much what we want you to begin focusing on is vibration and emotion and alignment and if you leave some of those old ways of looking at it behind for just a little while mm -hmm. you'll be like some of these scientists that we were talking about and you'll get into the vortex where you'll really know what's going on well I think science the, the scientists are really kind of leaning to uh, in line with what you're saying they are for sure yeah they're they are finding sure. that out I mean at least dr. Bruce Lipton I was right on it I mean I what he's teaching is, is phenomenal but I just wanted to know how it how you your beliefs and his um, perception um, science kind of come into well whenever when you talk we're, about the we're visiting with you not with him and mm -hmm. so we're receiving your version of him right and in the areas where your version of what he said disagreed with our version of what we know to be we have pointed it out mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. In other words, we're in agreement. We're in agreement that yeah. that there is much more capacity. We're but we're explaining it through the emotion and through the vortex because that's the only way. In other words, people have been talking about these things for a very long time. But what are yeah. you going to do with it? What are you going to do with the fact that you've got 52 trillion cells? Well, it makes what sense now. What are you going to do now? Now? Well, it makes sense now if you know how your cells are operating and you know what their functions are. To me, that enlightened more. It enlightened me more to 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 understand what you were saying because now I understand how my body works. You know the functions. Very good. And, and Very then good. so it, it it really enhanced what you said. We're but, glad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.